Stem cell researchers have long sought to be able to grow replacement organs, but a major obstacle has been delivering a reliable blood supply to the growing tissue. Now scientists at Stanford University claim they have a solution to the problem. We've developed a way to um, overcome one of the big problems in tissue engineering, which is uh, how do you get blood vessels into big blocks of tissue so that you can potentially make things like hearts or livers or, or very solid organs. And, and we've done it in, in a somewhat uh, unique way. The new technique utilizes a lump of flesh as what can be described as a bioscaffold or a seeding bed for the stem cells. Uh, because we're surgeons, we're used to moving around big uh, blocks of uh, tissue that contain microvascular beds. And, and in this um, paper that we published, we've actually taken those uh, microvascular beds out and then used them as the scaffold to seed stem cells and then put them back into an animal. The tissue is kept alive by pumping a blood-like liquid through the existing mass of vessels. The tissue would die quickly without this life support system, which keeps it healthy long enough to embed the stem cells. So we have a, a single piece of tissue that's completely removed from the animal, and we have one artery going in and then one vein coming out. The whole mass of tissue is finally reinserted into the animal, gradually transforming into a new type of cell. And because the animal's own tissue is used, it's less likely to be rejected by the body than synthetic tissue. So far, all the experiments have been restricted to rats, so there's no guarantee that this technique would work in humans. But the research has overcome a major stumbling block to moving stem cell research forward. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.